The initial startup procedure for this Waters HPLC begins here at the computer with this button. It's then followed by the auto sampler with this switch. Then the photodiode array is turned on with this switch. And finally the controller, which controls the pump, is done with this switch. Once you've finished switching on all the devices, the first thing that must then occur is the auto sampler must be purged. This is achieved by pressing this button, which is the purge page button. After pressing it, this screen appears, and in the bottom left hand corner you can see the word start purge. You press that button. It then, for the next five minutes, will go through a purge process. At the end, it will give you a diagnostic on how successful it was. Whilst the auto sample is purging, the next step is to repair the pump. The process starts by turning this valve here to the right. This stops the mobile phase from being pumped through the column, which is here, and the solution actually goes out through to a waste container here. You must then choose the channel for the mobile phase you're going to be using. This is achieved by pressing this button here, direct. As you can see here, you've got flow rate, you've got the channels which is determined here, and this is the information about how the pump is operating. So, in this case here we'd like to use channel B. So we come down using the down arrow. At the moment, as you can see, it's actually on 100% A, so we're going to make that zero by pressing zero and enter. On B, we're going to enter 100% and enter on that. Although the video doesn't show it at this point, you must continue pressing enter twice more for the change in channel to be accepted. Now, we get the pump operating by going up, back up to the flow rate, and entering in a value, say for example, 0.5 mils a minute. The next stage in priming the pump starts with turning this switch to the draw position. You then screw your syringe in like so. And when it's tight, draw the mobile phase up to near the full extent of the syringe, as you can see the bubbles appearing. You then turn this switch to the inject position and inject a small amount of the solution back through the pump. After this, you then put this to the run position. You move this valve to the left. You've now primed your pump and the solution is now running through the column. If at any stage you require further assistance or troubleshooting guides, you can refer to one of these manuals.